Hi everybody, this is your friend Serena from Filipino Martial Arts School, and today's another episode of Bayani Talk. Hi everybody, this is your friend Serena from Filipino Martial Arts School, and today's another episode of Bayani Talk, and today I'd like to talk about martial arts and ministry. Um, I, many of you may or may not know that I currently am attending uh, Claremont School of Theology, a seminary school. Uh, in pursuit of getting my master's in divinity and um, and also of course many all of you know that I'm a martial arts instructor been a practitioner for 20 years and you know some people always ask me you know isn't that a conflict of interest being a martial artist and being a an, um, uh, minister at the same time I don't think so um, and I've and I've I will refer to a video that I, I made a few a uh, few months ago about you know turning the other cheek but that's not what this video is about what I, the video is about is like meeting other martial arts instructors or martial artists and um, and also being called to serve. It's not that contradictory. It's, I don't think it's, it's contradictory at all. I think that when, uh, you know, we assume that martial arts is nothing more than um, hurting people, being, you know, taking people down, but it's actually to me and, and and i know a lot of my fellow martial artists agree with this a martial arts is a way for us to maintain the peace um you know i don't learn i don't study martial arts so that i know how to fight but i know how to keep my my my, my the people i love alive and safe um so to you, you to some of you you might be thinking well isn't that semantics it's not it is not semantics it is in fact very different because martial you know as a martial artist i'm not looking for trouble but let's face it, we live in a reality, and the reality is that trouble does come. Um, and when trouble comes, you need to be able to defend yourself and your loved ones. Uh, I became a martial artist because I was a very angry person, but now I'm not. Why? Because there's uh, it, it, it's an outlet for me to... Uh, I have an outlet for my... a uh, positive outlet for my negative energy. And this is why, again, I think martial arts go hand-in-hand hand with ministry because there is a lot of anger there. There's a lot of there's a lot of resentment that people might have for other things, if not their life and their, <clears throat> their society. And martial arts is a way for them to be have a positive outlet about about their their life and their situation. So, in martial artists, we tend to be a little bit more a lot more peaceful because of that, because we are a lot more calm. We we are a lot more um, not easy to to uh, to snap because of that. But at the same time, it is also an awareness of yourself. It's an awareness of your body and your movement and what you can and you can't do. And if there's anything that personifies that, um, you know, the hard work comes from, from believing into something, martial arts does that. You know, I mean, to my fellow practitioners in any style of martial arts, um, when, you, when you first walked in the door to your school as a newbie, as a noob, right? And you see your instructors and the senior students do these amazing feats. And you say to yourself, man, I hope one day I can do that. Well, through hard work and through determination, there's no guarantee that you're going to get it done or you're going to get it right. And there's even a guarantee that you're going to get it done in a certain amount of time. But you have faith that you're going to get it right. And then eventually you do get it right. And then eventually you can do the move. And then you do more interesting moves and more elaborate moves because of that. That goes on. Faith is a strong component of 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 martial arts. So does martial arts and ministry go hand in hand? I believe so. I truly believe so. And especially if we use martial arts as part of our ministry as well. Um, I use martial arts as a way to connect to people. Um, I, I share my faith with all my students and the people around me as much as I can. I don't always do it, of course, but I do it as best as I can and as often as I can. And what's so amazing is that, you know, I'll have students that'll ask me about God and, you know, it just gives me an opportunity to kind of share the wisdom, I mean, the, not, excuse me, share the, the love of God to them. And if I have, if I can do it, I'll totally do it. So does martial arts and ministry go hand in hand? Yes, I do. Do you agree? Do you think martial arts and ministry go hand in hand? If so, comment down below. And if you are looking for a martial arts instructor that is rooted in God's word, please check us out at www.fmaschool.com. Until then, my name is Guru Fred Strano from Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.